time over, solution. Did you guys find some of those? <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, thank you so much for coming in with your microphones shut off. And if you have questions, you can raise your hand. We'll get to those questions. I'm going to be presenting, but then I'm also going to be taking breaks and checking if, to see if there's any questions, too. So first thing I want to do is celebrate you. You guys rock. Look at this. So your amazing artworks, you turn in your landscapes. And I just grabbed three that were turned in on time and colored really well. And this is another thing. They were cropped really nicely. So I could see the pictures very clear. So I grabbed three of those. And these are just three examples. But guys, there were so many beautiful works of art that were turned in last week. So way to go. Feel good about that. And then this is the fifth grade. They did landscapes as well. And I just grabbed some of their artwork as well. So what they did is they used markers and they used water with the markers to make it look like watercolor. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just think that's awesome. Okay, before we get started, you are going to need your blue packet that was sent home with you. I see a lot of the blue packets by you. If you don't have the blue packet, I'm going to show you how you can print one out or make your own. Okay, so I'm going to push play here and I'm going to talk you through how we're going to work on the first character camp page. So you're going to go to your art uh, in Schoology and you're always going to see an announcement at the top and I'm going to pause it right here. Because this right here, right underneath the announcement, it says Character Camp Packet. If you don't have a packet, guys, that's where you go. That's going to teach you to either draw your own packet or it will give you a link so that you can print out a new packet. And underneath that, you will see a folder that says Assignments. Under the Assignments, you're going to go to December 14th because that's today. And you're going to read the directions. So there's a few directions under December 14th, but really if you click through, so I'm actually pressing to look at all of the different slides. If you click through, you're going to have videos telling you exactly what to do. Please watch the videos. That's where all the directions are. So you'll watch the whole video. And what's really fun about these videos is I'm doing some of them, but a lot of them, are done by other art teachers as well. So that's gonna be fun because all the kids in the whole district, we all got together to do the same thing. That video is gonna take you about five minutes. And then my expectation is for you to work for 15 minutes on art. If it takes you less than 15 minutes, you probably need to go back and add a little bit more details. If it takes you over 15 minutes, that's okay because actually art's supposed to be an hour, right? So it's okay if it takes you a little longer. When you're done, take a picture of your art on your Chromebook, and then you're gonna go in, find your art, and upload it into Schoology. When you upload it into Schoology, that's when I can see it, and I can make sure you're not falling behind because there is nothing more stressful than falling behind in any of your classes. Have any of you fallen behind in your classes before? Okay. Good. Let's talk about a couple of words in this packet that have been confusing for some students. The first word on that first page that was really confusing is gender. So you need to decide what gender your character is going to be. It might be a boy. It might be a girl. Or it might not be either of them, which we call neutral. So show me on your hand. Do you think your character is going to be a boy or a girl, or neutral? There's quite a variety. I can't wait to see what we come up with. Okay, the next word or topic was skin color. A lot of artists that are used to drawing things that they are familiar with will draw their character to have the same color skin as them, and that's okay. 
But if you want your skin color of your character to be a different color, that's all right too. There's lots of different skin colors, right? And you might even go abstract and make the skin color blue or rainbow. You get to choose what color of skin your character has. Occupation. If you have your worksheet by you, you might want to write the word job by occupation. That is a really big word to just say job. Your character might be a kid, so its job might be going to school. Your character might be an adult, so it might go to a job every day. Okay, another thing that you can think about, what time does your character live in? J-O-B. Is it a cave person and does it live many, many years ago? Or does it live right now in the present? Or does it live in the future? Maybe it lives on Mars and it's a robot and it cooks space cookies all the time. Show me, oops, I'll go back to that. Show me one, two, or three. When does your character, when is it going to live? The past or the present or the future? Big, yep, lots of different choices again. I love that. I love seeing variety. Okay, now I'll take any questions that you guys have. If you don't have any questions, you can head out and get started working on this. Try to get it done on Monday, today, so that you don't get far behind. Okay, guys?